What up, bitch? Eh? And welcome to a Premier Lawns video. Today we're going to be talking about lawn care for beginners and everyone else and the one third rule. So stick around. Now, before we begin, if I could ask you to smash that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. If you have any questions about the stuff that I'm going to be covering in this video, leave me a question down below, as a lot of my videos is crafted around the questions that you guys ask me. So, let's begin. For anyone that's new to the channel, I'm in Belfast, Northern Ireland, and today we're going to be talking about cool season grasses for anybody that's in North America or Australia. The basics of good lawn care isn't about what products you can put on to feed your lawn or what the best weed killer is. Good lawn care starts with how you look after your own yard or lawn every week. A common question on this channel is what height should I cut my lawn at? I will answer that question in a bit, but first, let's add in a bit of science on how grass grows. There are literally millions of grass plants living on your lawn, and each one has a root, a crown, and of course, leaves. The reason that we can mow our lawns without killing the plants is that the leaves grow from the crown at the bottom of the plant. The leaves are there to make and store energy. Grass is green because the cells contain a substance called chlorophyll. Now chlorophyll is clever stuff. It enables the plant to carry out a process called photosynthesis. Think back to your school days. Now I'm not going to get too much into the science behind this. I have a link in the video description of the blog that covers this in much more detail if you want to dive deeper into this. The amount of energy the plant can store is directly related to the surface area of the leaf. By sticking to the one third rule for mowing your lawn, you're avoiding that extreme diet situation where the plants get weaker. Instead, you're only reducing the plant's calorie intake by a manageable amount. Now, to take that thought a stage further, the easiest way to improve your lawn and it's free is to set the lawnmower to a high height. If you raise the height of cut on your lawnmower, the grass has more leaf and you're given it the opportunity to make and store energy and after a few weeks you will start to see the benefits with a healthier lawn. There are extra benefits such as your lawn will be able to outgrow most of the weeds in the lawn due to the increased vigour. It will crowd out weeds such as daisies that thrive in a lawn getting cut too short. If I had a pound for every person that said to me, we cut our lawn very short to stay on top of the daisies, I'd be a very rich man. When in fact, whenever you cut your grass down very, very short, you're creating the conditions that the daisies want and not your lawn. Now, to do this, you need to be mowing your lawn on a regular basis. Every seven to 10 days is a perfect amount to mow the average lawn. The 
before I start talking about what height you should cut your lawn at, guys, if you're enjoying this video, if you could hit that like button down below, subscribe for more videos like this, and learning how to take your lawn to the next level, just go ahead and smash that like button down below, because it really helps me out and it helps me grow my channel. What is the best mowing height for your lawn? The best mowing height for any lawn depends on the grass type, the weather, where your lawn is growing, how you use it and how you maintain it. For the average lawn around the UK, there's a good chance that it'll be a hard wearing rye grass mix. Three to five centimeters is a good mowing height for most of the year. In warmer weather, plant metabolism speeds up and the plants will need more energy to support themselves. If they can't generate enough energy through their leaves, they'll shut down and become dormant. In other words, the leaves start to turn brown. That's why it's a good idea to raise the mowing height in a dry summer to help keep your lawn green. An ornamental lawn with mainly fescues and bent grasses, you can get away with maintaining your lawn a little shorter. Two to three centimeters is sensible. Whatever the normal height of your lawn, the one-third rule for mowing your lawn still applies. 